Welcome or back everybody, just going to play through of Honkai Star Rail. Last time we took on Bronya, um, yeah, we took her quite easily. We need to speak to the unfamiliar woman just sat here, but um, there is something on here. Let's collect this. The Underground Encyclopedia and Dreamland Analysis and Musicians of Bellabog Volume 2. Okay. Let's speak to the un... Oh, no, no, more stuff. We've got the Musicians of Bellabog Volume 3. The Musicians of Bellabog True Ending. A non pulp fiction. So that's an achievement. Collect 20 readable items in Bellabog. Okay, it's more Stella Jade. Good. Wait till we get to a lot before we utilize that. Let's speak to the unfamiliar woman. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Uh, no, I feel much better. Good. You were out for a while. I was beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Well, now that you're awake, you should Natasha. probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Is this the underground? Yes. It's a place that's been sealed off and neglected by the Overgrounders for more than a decade. The underground has none of the splendor of the surface. The people here dig tunnels and mine ore to make a living. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So, if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Absolutely. Why did I pass out? Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. People were following us. Sampo told me. Don't worry. The Silvermane Guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. <laughs> Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the Architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that Wildfires wanted to achieve for a long time now. What's our medical bill? Oh, please. You needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I've barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years. But that guy owes me. You better bring me back some medicine. Where are my friends? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the Silvermane Guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her, but it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Perfect. Who is this Sampo anyway? Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Wildfire? It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground but less stone-hearted. Thank you, Dr. Natasha. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start? Well, I can literally click right, and there she is. Sean? Well, this place looks different. Arena. 
we got an arena. There's March. Lost World. We're in Jurassic Park now. Okay. Gonna search for goodies. Wildfire Flyer. Nearly missed this. Okay. Nothing we can do up that way. Be back that way. Fight club. The first rule of fight club is you don't talk about fight club. Anything in here? Fight club is underground comes in two ambulances, noisy and noisier. In such a boisterous venue, you notice something conspicuously out of place. We have known past observations that there would be some, one such person in every such occasion, but this one seems different somehow. A quaint envelope sits unremarkably on a wooden crate, which is being used as a side table, but it excludes a unique quality of its own. Silent, elegant, independent, even a hint of darkness. You also see invitation written in big crooked letters. You find yourself unable to pry your eyes from it. It's mine now. It's right move. No one can resist such a silent, elegant, independent, and slightly dark envelope of the invitation. Dark Fist Tournament Invitation Letter. Okay. Nothing else going on. That's probably where the fights happen. So, what you learned from observing the sandbag, if you didn't make a sound, no one would know how much your pain you're in. Okay. We go through the door. We cannot, it's barred. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to come back here a bit later. We've got an invitation after all. Trash can. The pitiful trash can made of tin with a torso clearly dented from trauma. It seems like someone took their pent up emotions on it whilst passing by. Okay. Head back this way. There's the clinic. There's March. Street lamp. Why are you investigating a street lamp? It doesn't do anything. Okay. This way is the Great Mine. I'm not going to go that way just yet. We'll speak to her in a... Okay, so we'll speak to her now. You promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. They're gonna go for it. Hook is in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. Resounding nod. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You, uh, when did you get here? Not that long, big sister. Oh, quit acting like a child. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? Uh, do you need a teammate? I've always been nice. Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, 
We're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. He also wants to join the moles. Can he play too? Um, sure. I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. Little spotty senses it's are gonna simple. go off. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Okay, she's this way, but we're gonna grab this. We'll always sunk around the corner. If they can fit in my rucksack, I'm taking them. This seems to be cut open with some kind of implement. If the lid and off the burnt wood mixed with cold steel invade your off factory senses. Looking into the depth of the trash can, you can see it flickers with the embers still hanging on, struggling to extend their own lifespan. The trash can looks like the other ones at first glance, but when you take a close look, you uncover its sinister nature. Someone has done something to spring bar open the lid. If you push the lid of the trash can, the lid will bounce back at you, dealing a hefty blow. Let's fix it. Spend some time on it and finally succeeded. Now the spring bar is fixed, then nobody will get hurt by this trash can. Okay. Grab this chest. Hmm. Looks handy. Into Food the stall owner. Ah, look here, isn't it? Our old friend Paul. What's up? How can we some local Boulder Town snacks to boo your belly? Okay, let's have a look. So we've got music. Rye bread soda iceberg. It was one alloy by 50% of the alloys max HP plus 150. Sure. Is the attack by 5% plus 170. Immediately recovers four technical points for your team, but each team member loses HP equal to 15%. Well, that's good. Boost equal to 50% of the max HP increases their attack by 200. Covers three technical points. Generate 50% of max energy for a single ally. Cool. Okay, we'll just you say take all of these and stone grilled Ulm. Immediately here was one downed character for 30% of the character's max HP. Okay. So we'll take one. All right, let's. Head down here. Glimmer of what does not belong in the corner of a yellowing envelope hanging limply on the edge of it, the opening. Let's take it out this time. Most fragile envelope. This is not hyperbole. The envelope is disintegrating. The paper scraps crumble into thin air, merging unique mind dust that disappear into the abyss of scorching air. Before its final act of glory, your actions gave it salvation. Okay. The area ahead is not available. Please return to an accessible area. Okay. Grab this chest. If they can fit in my Standard rucksack, stuff. I'm taking them. Big trash can lies in plain air. You can see that it's filled with citizens discarded trash. Suddenly you hear a voice saying, Trailblazer, you want these seven normal pieces of trash or this beautiful piece of trash? Go for the beautiful piece. An honest person, the voice says in an approving way, I will give you what you want. Praise of high moral. The central leaf when you stand before this dumpster, it is over. Reeves Bellabog's winter. It's the last one. Your feeling no longer matters. What matters is that the ones who created these trash cans have filled themselves. I've shown Claire coldly at the other trash can, gasping the air for at its feet. I told you you'd tattle off, it said. I told you that you'd one day collapse beside me. When the time comes, I will laugh at your dying face, such as the wind of change. 
The goo of darkness dripped out from the dying trash can's form and continued to snake its way forward. It looked up at the cold eyes of the other trash can. Fifteen years had passed since it had last seen that gaze, and the standing trash can was still tiny. It is me, the dying trash can bade. I was the one who raised you. A wave of sharp pain enveloped it, and the moment it realised that a certain trash bag had burst, shooting pain coaxed a whimper out of the dying trash can while the other one sniggered satisfactorily. It crouched down and then whispered a name in the ear of the dying trash can. You! The trash can's eyes were wide open. But no, you can't be. Its final words curled inside its mouth, just like a teardrop hanging from the corner of its eye. It's really weird that there are stories from trash cans. Right, we've got a cellar. Shadow of Destruction, attainable after spending a total of 50 shield. Okay. Recipe for st recipe stone from the L Winter Monument. Door. Antimatter field generator. Not what this is. Claim here. More study jade and lost gold fragment. Claim that. What is a lost gold fragment? Plants material for relics provides 500 relic XP. Okay, I don't want to spend everything here. Use the level up traces slightly for hunt characters. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Cheap room. Greasy food magazine. Paper, pens, and a pot of black ink are laid out in plain wooden table. You lean on slightly, trying to make out the messy handwriting on its paper. Technology is the underworld might be outdated, but printing as a technique remains as prevalent as ever. Perhaps this establishment opted to handwrite its notes to give customers a warm feeling of being valued. This is kind thought only manages to make reading more difficult for you. As you scan over these polite and pointless words, your eyes start to hurt. Finally, you find the most important part at the bottom of the page. Gertie, the owner, warmly invites you to rate our services. Ah, a grading session, your favourite. You may remember having this experience before. You are sitting in the back seat of a hover taxi, flying from one place in a city to another. Pilot of the ta hover taxi doesn't chat with you for the whole ride, but offering the most curiosity of greetings. But as you open the door to climb out, he suddenly says, Please give me a five star review. No, you won't. You are the embodiment of imparta impartiality. We'd never take pity on a test score of a 49 and charge it to a 50 for a pass. I strongly believe that good reviews are earned, not handed out. You look around the che this cheap room, you hear the walls wailing to see the cupboard trembling. Oh, dear guests, please rate how comfortable this bed is of you. Um, neutral. Bed, average. It's more than just average, it could be used to define the concept of average. Dear guests, please rate the tea provided in your hotel room. That's a big pot of tea, I'm going to be satisfied with that. Best tea ever. If possible, you'd love to bring Den Hang here to simplify sample this tea, solely because you are convinced that he is someone who knows a lot about tea. Dear guests, please rate the lighting and view from your hotel room. Neutral. Lighting and view, average. Lighting this room is not too shabby. At least, you're able to read what's written on this paper clearly. As for the view, you knew the people who designed and built this hotel did their best. You could hardly ask for more. Thank you for evaluating this service. Here at the Goth Hotel, you may leave a comment in the space below. We'll take your feedback seriously and try our best to improve our services. A comment? Coming up with original content is always a headache. It's better to make it a multiple choice question. Let's suggest you buy some memory foam pillows and velvet quilts. Let's pass the comment, comment component of the test. 
There's only one blank space left in this piece of paper. If possible, please leave your name so we can notify you when we have a discount. Discount? What a beautiful word. Let's write your esteemed name in there. Your masterpiece is done. You've now completed the single most unbiased service of you in the history of the universe. A hint of subjective emotion. You flip back the feedback card and you just completed to discover a thick stack of identical cards. You're faced with several options. Finished. Now, go over the whole review again. The comment in the shop is, may I suggest you buy some memory foam pillows and velvet quilts? Is this a signature? Oh, your rating of the bed, neutral. Your rating of the tea, very satisfied. Your rating of the light, lighting review, neutral. I'm done. You put away the completed service evaluation card. Perhaps you should give it straight to Gertie to demonstrate your status as a valued guest. What the absolute fuck is this? Why? why? I, I, just why? Okay, we'll head this way. Probably can't. That's Rivet Town. I'm not going to Rivet Town. Let's do this hide and seek. We had plenty of time. I did this one right. No, I didn't. Mailbox is tucked away in the corner. Try not to be noticed. Better not disturb it. You get the sense that even the most sociable person would need some personal space. It's alone a mailbox. Just what on earth is this? There's her. Ha, gotcha. Still what? It's just a practice. Wait until we're playing for real. You'll see. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Now we're playing for real. You gotta count to 50 before you open your eyes. No cheating. No cheating. 47, 48, 49, 50. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. The mold haven't lost the game for ages. <laughs> here you go. Okay. Got it yet? There's one. Don't run. I got you, Hook. I'm the boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are they feeding you kids down here? Okay. There's ore. Moon crate carries a kind of ore called Geomoro. That's an energy source. Okay. Clocking off. Finally. They're outside the zone of looking. Go in the dumpster. Come to remain silent. The husk of junk gazes gently at you. Okay. Trash can. Two trash cans stood tightly side by side. As if no force in the world could separate them. Mm, right. Something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. No, we're doing hide and seek. I'm so focused a special motion in you, unrelated to this location, appearance, and other olfactory triggers. Okay, got 81. Let's open it. You see a shabby room with a set of wrinkled yellowish bedding, a pillow made from gunky sack, two open bread flavour soda, a pair of mining boots and a torn out book where the words can no longer be distinguished, as well as a knife. Looks like someone used this dumpster as their humble living quarters. And threw three pieces of GMO in it, the person who threw it in so heavily that the shards of the ore scattered over the trash can. No idea where the anger of that person stems from, neither can you understand this behaviour. After all, Jumara is as valuable as gold in the underground. Why do you throw it away? What? Would you throw away money even if it of anger? No. That's right. Now, let's end this conversation here. It's really boring to talk about dumpsters and money. What on earth? Okay, so I think we have got to... Clocking off. Finally. 
You're saying the children are... Here, let's... There's another one. Let's hear it. But we caught you. What's with the Q&A? Huh. I thought I had you there. Okay. Next child. up top I wonder if it's up top Hey, where are you going? Okay. Come back, come back. They won't be hiding that far away. Not in there. Oh, almost a loot of work. I'm going to check things out later. Okay, so I thought maybe we would speak to them and they would progress. Pickaxe. Go back in the clinic here. They're not in here. Where the hell is it? Maybe we'll speak to this guy. Hmm, something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole Seemingly adult man. I wonder if that's one of them. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy. But... It's him, no doubt. <laughs> Nonsense! <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. But I'm Julian of a thousand faces. Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. I... I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. You sure did. About time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Look, saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? I thought the first rule was... You don't talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the fight club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. Come with Hawk. I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Indeed. In fact, it's awesome. They let you 
take part? Loads of kids take part. We're here. This is it. Uh, Cook's gonna go fight. See you later. Uh, who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge. That's who. Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. The moles control this whole area? Um, the moles control everything underground. Ooh, they need one more That's player pretty here. intelligent, actually. I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Okay. Go in. Today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest! On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cole Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Farag! Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say. Whatever! And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge Begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters! An unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! We found you. We're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. Team Robomatic. I take them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Uh, destroy them all. Okay, so we've got wind and lightning. Oh, that's... Shocking, so I don't have any of them. My turn. Gotta try hard Try and freeze them then. Watch this awesome move. Chain of destruction. Can't be that easy. What a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? Cold Dragon Younger and Cold Dragon Youngest. Gotta be cooler than Cold Dragon Young. <sighs> Our taste in nicknames is different. Hey, look, it's Sampo. Um, got another butt to kick. Let's get after him. Eighth and final rule capture and interrogate Sampo. That, ladies and gents, is going to wait for the uh, next one. So please like, comment, subscribe to the good stuff. It really help me out. There'll be some more Honkai Star Rail coming away shortly. See you all in the next one.